woman threatened online is in danger. If she is a journalist, a politician, an activist, the consequences could be terrible. Young girls can be assaulted for days and weeks without an end in sight. And this is true for all the victims of gender-based online violence. This is why some women, LGBTI plus people or minority people, have ultimately left the, only, the online space to flee this discrimination. But this is not a solution. We cannot expect people to leave so that the problem no longer exists. It would be dangerous to put control in the hands of just a few big tech companies. This would let them define what we mean by hate. It would let them decide on the meaning of freedom of speech, who are the most vulnerable users and who are the ones to be silenced. What we need to happen has already taken place in the past. I am referring to the establishment of ground rules which make up a comprehensive system, a set of legal, governmental and societal tools for a completely new space. In only the last 10 years, the online space has completely transformed many aspects of our societies. To meet these challenges, we need clearly defined laws, including pragmatic concrete measures, as well as education and training for law enforcement and better implementation. We need police and justice to know what they deal with. We need culture and society to be involved. This will require a lot of resources. But this money, it exists. It's already there in these big companies. It just needs to be redirected to better support and protect users online. Big companies cannot be allowed to continue using this business model, which reserves limited resources for these important measures. If we cannot address this, we run the risk of leaving machines and non-transparent algorithm with the implicit basis to continue censoring some people while targeting others.